What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. So, originally I was going to do my summon video first, but because it's giving us a tutorial for the season pass right when everything goes live, we are going to go over that first. Uh, you'll probably still see my summon video first, and then this will come out later uh, on Friday, probably in like the afternoon or something. But uh, I do still want to do this first. Uh, very interesting to note, there wasn't like a version update or anything. There's no new app icon or anything, it's just like a regular update. So I wonder if they're going to push an app update later. But for now, there isn't one. So for now, let's just take a look. So Season Pass has been unlocked. You can get awesome rewards by leveling up through events and other content. Okay, so this gives us a look at what everything... Please tell me we can at least click on... Okay. Reward character ticket. Okay. What is this? Character scout. Okay, so there are some characters... Well, let's look at the free... So this is... The top one's the free one. Let's see what we get. Is there anything, like, actually, like, really good in here? Uh, okay, that's a weapon scout ticket. Um... Isn't that the free Berkuli? Pretty sure that was like the free event one from forever ago. Does he get his own Imaginarium now? We'll take a look real quick in a second. I just want to quickly look at what's in here. Okay, so there are some regular, uh, you know, T's to... Okay, yeah, it is the free unit. So I guess if you missed out on the free units, you'll be able to get stuff for them here. As well as they're finally getting Imaginarium for those old units. Um, I still don't know how useful they're going to be. How far does this go? So there's a hundred levels on each one. You can get a maximum of 500 extra rewards every 30 points after the maximum level has been reached. So once you, so once you hit a hundred, uh, wait, okay. So once you get to the end, you can get that ticket like 30 times, I guess is how it works. Okay, I mean, obviously, the bottom one is much better. Um, what is unlock season level? Okay, so if you want to spend... <laughs> no. So I guess you can fast track that if you want to spend all of your hard-earned currency. Point boost. Okay. So, Premium Pass is the 300 one. You get more rewards. Premium Pass Bundle. In addition to the Premium Pass Bundle set, Season 1 Moon Cordal times 1,000. List theme. Okay, so it seems like the ideal thing to do is just buy this 300 one. Uh, that'll unlock the Premium Pass and the premium pass reward list, you get to look at it here. So, I guess if you really want to... We're going to see how my summons go tonight. If I manage to get Kirito and Asuna, you know, within like a thousand diamonds, I think I will grab like one month of this premium pass just to see how good it is. You know, I'll, I'll get the rewards. Um, I, obviously, I'll be 300 short uh, diamonds, but we're also going to get 350 back. With uh, the new ordinal here in like a week. So uh, I guess that's pretty much how it works. You can unlock the season level. I guess if you want to jump ahead through some of the rewards. Because uh, your season level can go up. And you get more rewards as you keep going. Um, yeah overall I just recommend. you know, for Let's see how many free diamonds you get. So you get 15. Alright there's 30. Uh, 50. Um, is it just 50? Uh, what is that, 85? I'm guessing 100, right? Oh no, is that just 80? Did I miss a 50? I must have missed like a 15. Because they wouldn't stop at 85. That'd be a weird number to, uh, stop on. Um, yeah, I'm not going to open everything because that's going to deplete everything. And then what's this? And then, okay, and then this is what people were, a lot of people were, and I knew it was going to be like this. A lot of people were saying like, oh no, uh, there's no event pass, it's just the season pass. 
And it's like, no, there's an event pass. This is free. Uh, you know, and you can get all the rewards right here for this event. It lasts for nine days because that's the length of the event. And if you get to level 30, you get this Kirito. So the stuff in here is free. So this stuff right here, the normal rewards, you just you just grind the event to get everything you can get here. It's only here where, which sucks because you, can, you still get T's. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm guessing each one of these, like, special T's tickets gives you a copy of her. Um... I don't know how many you will. We're going to look at the event real quick. Because I want to see if there's any tickets in there too. Because I don't know how many we're going to need for these. Because this is just a ticket. Uh, it may be like the regular thing where you need 10 of them. And it looks like you, so you get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's got to be 10, right? Okay, so there are 10 in here. So you at least get her. But... In order to... We're, we're going to back out now. We're going to skip the banner animation. Yeah, we're skipping this because I'll look at that during uh, my summon video. Uh, but I want to see... Because this Tease is so good that you may have to spend your own hard-earned crystals to um, awaken her, which is fine. Okay, let's see. let's see this real quick. One point five anniversary. All right, there's ten huge campaigns during the course of the anniversary. Okay, so we only have the first four. There's still six other things. So we get the free scout up to one hundred and ten times. That's gonna be for like the next like ten days. Uh, special login bonus, all that good stuff. <laughs> Daily scouts, at least one or more four star guarantee. T uh, characters guaranteed. So you're at least walking away with a four star each day, it seems. I don't think it's free, though. I think you can, you have to pay for that. Um. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Yep, season system. Let me see, because that banner should actually be up. The, like, one time... Okay, no, it's going to be a once-a-day thing, so it's going to reset at login. Uh, so when the login happens tonight, I'll uh, make a video on that. Because I saw people saying it's, like, the price of, like, a half-off multi, which is still pretty good. But doing that every day is very costly. Um, okay, so what I want to check before we get on out of here is I want to go the, to the ranking event and see... Oh, so there's no shop. Okay, so there's no shops anymore. It's literally, you get what you grind for. Which I assume they didn't do away with the shops entirely. It's just... So they're keeping the shops from every event prior to the 1.5. But everything after, there's no shops anymore... You can't grind all the materials you want. You just, you get what's in here. So, like, for the girl amongst the windy skies, you just farm what's in this pass. So, uh, there isn't anything for Tease in here. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much what it looks like. So, if you... Are we going to get more? Okay, there we go. Um, so, you'll get a copy of Tease. She's really good. And then it's going to be up to you. What? Which... This doesn't guarantee anything because they could definitely have events over the course of the rest of the month that do give us uh, stuff for her. But, I mean, even in this one, how many... I mean, you'll be able to, I assume, trade in these tickets. Like, any extra ones you get. I don't know how the extra ones will work, but I assume once you get past 10... See, there's like 20 crystals for her right there. 40, uh, 60, 80. There's 100, 120... 150, 200, um, okay, so there's only 200, um, so what that tells me is that the other 200 you probably just get from trading in your extra tickets, uh, that's what that tells me, so yeah, if you go with the normal pass for each season, which is over the course of two months, so she's going to be the free character for the next two months, you have to grind up all these points, uh, you will have to use your own crystals. But, I'm going to be honest, 
That's not that bad. With how good she is as a free four-star, um, I don't mind spending some crystals. And what, she's non-elemental? Let's see. I've got 1,500 non-elemental. I do not mind throwing 400 of these uh, to level her up. So uh, some people will have an issue with this. Some people won't. But uh, yeah. So I think that's pretty much everything to kind of go over. I think the only other thing is... Uh, where is that going to be? Um, is it going to be in here? Okay, yeah, this is the customization console. You have the three following tabs that you can set. Under the home screen, you can change the appearance of your home screen character outfits. Uh, yeah, so we'll just go over this real quick. So this first page is the normal stuff. Um, home theme. I don't think we have any other home themes besides the base one. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be some special currency. I don't even know how we get this. What is this? Yeah, we don't even have that yet. So whatever this is, we're going to be able to get that. Uh, and we'll use that to uh, unlock some of these. Um, home BGM. Um, same thing. You know, all stuff we don't have. Um, usual characters and background stuff. Profile. Uh, you can change uh, all this stuff here. You can now have three titles. Uh, and then battle, you just decide the BGM you want for the battle. So that's pretty much that's pretty much the big stuff to kind of go over besides the new banner and how events work. But hopefully you guys get the gist of how everything works now between this. So overall, I say if you're a free-to-play player, don't get the premium pass. Unless you have a month where you know you're not going to need anything. Like if this month, if you... If we find out the second banners are going to be dark, for example. That's not guaranteed, but let's say for the sake of this that they are. If you don't need fire or dark at all, you could skip this entire month and just spend the 300 you want to spend to unlock this premium pass. So unlocking this is 300, and then, um, you know, the, the 500 pass gives you, like, extra points or whatever. But really, to get all this, like, normal, normal stuff... Uh, you really only have to buy the 300 one. So I'll probably end up buying it when Ordinal resets. Unless I just get extremely shafted. And I end up having to go in on Kirito and Asuna's raid-ups. Um, I, I think I will spend the 300 just to see how it goes for the first two months. See how those rewards are. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, my Well, actually, you would have already seen my summons by now. But hopefully they went well. Uh, talking to myself in the future uh hopefully but uh oh and i guess the only other thing uh that i talked about in my breakdown uh we do have this in a i'm gonna be buying this by the way uh right before i do my summons it's just got it's a home screen uh alice that comes with 200 cubes so it's definitely worth it for me to get but that's gonna be it guys thank y'all for watching don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel i'll see y'all next time have a wonderful day everyone <laughs>